All right, we're back with Joran from Stack State, yep. and we're going to do a quick demo of what is Stack State and how does it look. So why don't you kick this off? So thanks, Robert. So what I've done is I've installed Rancher on the cluster, and using Rancher, I've spun up two RKE2 clusters. So uh, there's a cluster zero and a cluster one. And on both of those clusters, using the Rancher app marketplace, like I said, uh, Stack State Agent is inside of the Rancher app marketplace now. I've installed that Stack State Agent onto both of those clusters using Rancher, using the app marketplace. So, and as you can see, I can show you, and it loads for a second, and you can actually see that we're using the UI extension. So you can actually easily add your API key, the URL of your Stack State instance, and the cluster name for the sta uh, for Stack for Stack State. And what it does, once this installs, within five minutes, you actually get a complete observability picture of what's running in those clusters. So you see these same two clusters. You got you got some red there. Yeah, I've got some red. There is a problem. All right. So, but you see these two clusters, and what you see is uh, the communication between the clusters. So Stack State actually detects network traces and sees that there's communication going on between those two clusters. So you see the orders applications or orders microservices are actually talking to the shipping microservice and to the payment microservice that live in our fulfillment cluster, right? This is an application that runs uh, a real enterprise application, you'd say. So, but indeed, you notice the red. That's not good, right? Well, you got some yellow there too, but a lot of green. So, I mean, it's, yeah. it, it looks somewhat good, it right? Somewhat Maybe. Good. So let's have a look. Huh? We can easily click on the component. We get a small summary on the right-hand side, but let's just jump in. So we open the view, and what you can see here is indeed there is a problem. So HTTP response times are high, error rates are elevated. That's not good, right? So let's have a look. HTTP response times, what's happening? What you can immediately see is, okay, how long has this outage been going on? And we show a timeline of what happened, and we show a supporting metric. And now I've already tagged this because I gave this demo before, so we'll just uh, scroll past that. And now this is not as interesting, so let me just go one component down. Oh. Click the wrong component, that sometimes happens. So we see the same, eh? this is the error rate for the front end, but what you can see is an error never occurs alone, right? Mm -hmm. Related violations going on. Then we see a cluster basically of errors. And if we look down, eh, this is the component that we were investigating. There's actually a deeper component here, the pod that's restarting. And that pod is connected to that service, to the catalog service that also has an error rate. So this service, the front end, its pod is not bad. It, the pod itself is running fine. But there's actually deeper down in the chain, Stack State detected that the catalog pod has a problem. Okay. So there's actually a problem there. So let's investigate. We can click there. We see the restart for containers. So that has been going on eh, since this morning. And the supporting metric, you see that it's jumping up in time. You see the same cluster, basically. And you see Stacksit offers you a remediation guide. How to solve this problem? Because note that eh, what we built for is engineers. Engineers know about Kubernetes. They typically know they're running on Kubernetes, but they're not the experts. The platform engineers, SRE teams, they're the experts. So, so if they don't, so the engineers don't have an SRE or you know the DevOps team, quote unquote, available. They can actually have like documentation right there built in. Documentation and the remediation guides are like in the tool. So, can they can these be customized for someone's custom platform? Saying, hey, you know, we do this thing slightly differently than well, what what's in here? Yes. So, as Stack State out of the box offers. Uh, these monitors and remediation guides, but indeed you can customize them. This could just say, uh, okay, if there's this problem, call Robert. He's the guy that actually knows how to solve this. Don't do this on your own. Don't call me. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a bad example, but yes. So using those remediation guides, you can actually have links in there that click out into different parts of the product, like here. So this can actually go 
to the highlight page for this pod, and then using stacks that you can correlate basically all the telemetry. So yeah, we have all the, em- the melt telemetry, the metrics, the events, the logs, and the trace information. So you saw the trace information in the topology, but we also have all of the events categorized. So whether they're alerts, they're changes, they're deployments, we have the logs for the pods available right in the same interface. And what this allows you to do is easily correlate all that information. You don't need to go out into different tools like Grafana, Loki, Jaeger, wherever. It's all in that single pane of glass, allowing you to actually do all of the correlation, not in your head, but in a tool. You don't need to go to a specific point in time in all of these different tools. It's all there in Stack State. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, if we're seeing errors that come up commonly, will Stack State trace those errors, saying that this is happening? This is kind of a, a normal error, not like you know. Sometimes there's that false positive, or you know, as developer engineers and developers, I'm looking around so I don't get hit. Sometimes they write things that will error out, and it's just normal. Will Stack State be able to learn, or you know, just be able to handle those as well? Because you're like, ah, oh, this is a false positive. Clear it. Yeah. Well. Not so much clear, but what we can do is we can say, okay, this monitor, don't apply it to this piece of, uh, to these resources, or to this group of resources. So for these resources, that they're allowed to have high response times, for instance, or they're allowed to have elevated error rates because they're not user-facing. It's perfectly fine. Easy to do in Stack State by just configuring the monitor differently. So you, so Stack State can actually handle when a developer does something really bad and, you know, just has... You know, kind of crappy code there, but you kind of expect it because it might be legacy or something, right? Yeah. Might be legacy. It might not be cloud native, right? It might just be a backup that runs like for an hour or more and just doesn't respond. Stack State can just easily ignore that or not alert on it. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Great talking to you.